Jim Bliss came home from work one day, and much to his chagrin, as he was passing by the lounge and idly glancing in, he saw, amidst the commonplace, the stable and the firm foundations of his ordered life, there stood a pachyderm. The gentle creature looked at Jim and sighed into his face as Jim stared in amazement and his thoughts began to race around the questions raised by this solution in disguise and pondered how this cloud of grey had come to his blue skies. Just at that moment, Mary, Jim's wife, that is, Mrs Bliss, appeared at the kitchen door. She smiled, gave Jim a kiss, and hardly glanced, if glance she did, at what was plainly there. An adult Indian elephant stood silent by her chair. The Blisses sat at dinner, and they chattered as they ate. They washed the pots, they watched TV, they sat and read till late. They spoke of this, and even that, but when they went to bed, about that creature left downstairs, not one word had been said. Although, as they laid in the dark of night time, wide awake, each wondered why the other would their smooth routine forsake by bringing there into their home that undomestic beast. And having done so, why on earth not speak of it at least? Perhaps, Jim thought, his darling wife had sought some spies to find and taken an exotic love who had left the beast behind at their parting from a daytime tryst. Quickly, he's home soon, with the intent to pick it up some other afternoon. And Mary, who was sure that it was Jim who was to blame for the presence of the Jumbo, could not work out his game and wondered if the stress at work had finally grown too much. Why else bring home an elephant and never speak of such? Next day, and each day that ensued, things carried on that way. The elephant was always there, and still... They did not say, but let its darkling shadow grow and fall upon their hearts, a silent wedge of dread unsaid that drove them far apart. My tale is told, the story done, the morals there to view. When challenge comes as challenge will, it's best to talk it through. Seize your problems by the scruff. Do not let your tongue be dumb, lest in the silence all you say is simply, I succumb. <laughs>